Hey YouTube, what I have here is a Crossman Powermaster 760 combination pellet and BB gun. Uh, this had a magazine that fed, as I recall, 18 BBs, and then it had a reservoir on the left side that you would dump your BBs into. And the problem is this thing would often rub against your pants and you're carrying it around and come open and spill a bunch of your BBs out. I didn't care for that so much. Uh, this gun, uh, looking at the serial number, remember I got it in the early 80s and from what I just decoded the serial number, I believe this was a 81. Uh, and I was reading some of the, the um, different generations. I think it's fifth or sixth generation. I don't really know these that well, but it cocks uh, when you pull this plastic bolt back. There's where you would, uh, it's got a magnetic uh, tip to hold the BB in place, which was nice because here it's exposed and could fall out, but works pretty well. And you just drop your pellet in there. Steel rifled barrel. And unfortunately, somewhere over the years, I lost the rear sight and the screws. So those screws actually, I think, protrude all the way into the barrel. So I shot the heck out of this thing. Um, and then at some point, uh, I don't remember, it started to uh, leak down air. And I uh, kind of want to teach myself how to rebuild it. I'm sure I can find a YouTube video um, of how to do that. This was in the years that I don't know much about Crossman's history. It's got a Coleman mark on the back of the gun. The forearm's plastic. The stock's plastic. I always like the little white line here. It's not a heavy. It was heavier than my Daisy. And this was the first multi-pump gun I got. This was like, to me, my first serious air gun. Um, you can tell it's seen a lot of use. I remember I was even breaking match heads off it and shooting match heads <laughs> out of it and it would, uh, they'd strike and it was like a tracer round when it hits something or an incendiary round. Front sight has actually got a screw to hold it in. I believe I can still get parts for this to fix it, which does interest me to do that. Uh, the new ones, oh. And this is all metal. Stuff in the 80s was just built better than the stuff now. I think I saw a new one of these at Walmart or somewhere over years ago. And this was all plastic. And oh, I think I was reading. I think they even put a smooth bore barrel on it, which is just complete junk show. I don't know why they did that. Uh, you got a screw down here for the stock. It's a big uh, flathead screw. I think I had to tighten that once or once in a while. has the sticker show you where to oil it which I did um, but I guess this stuff just wore out inside the pumping parts are all metal and it doesn't seem terribly loose or worn and if I remember I think what would happen is you pump it up and it would leak down. It would it still works. Well it's cocked now. You know it's unloaded because I already checked. But it'll still shoot, but I need to find the screws and uh, for the rear sight. So if you know uh, where I could find those, I'd appreciate uh, if you could put a comment below. I'd like to get it working again. Um, it wouldn't really be much fun to shoot it outside, it's raining, and I'm going to lose a bunch of air out there. So anyway, that's a quick, uh, just a quick show and tell, uh, overview of the 760 Power Master. This is my introduction, my first Crossman air gun, and, and I moved away from Daisy after getting this thing, and, uh, stayed with Crossman until I started getting even more expensive air guns. So, okay guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.